what it do, YouTube? Try to take a little door ride right, right now. Finna ride through Melissa, Texas. I've been on the uh, west side, but not the east side of the freeway. So I want to see what it's looking like over here. Pretty damn nice so far. Shit, man, I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing great myself. I'm a little bit over a month into this vacation. And, uh... Okay. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> when I go and I, damn, some old ass shit out here, man. When I go for rides out here, man, I just look at the map real quick. I mean, I've been reading maps since I was young, and I mean, you know, you got your basic skills down as far as, uh, you know, map reading goes, you'd be alright. But, uh, not everybody does, you know, I could just look at a fucking map and be like, okay, there, there, take it right there, 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 there. Kind of download it to my brain. And uh, it'll work out for me. Doesn't work for everybody? Wouldn't expect it to. Sometimes, I mean, I write, when it's a long one, I write like on the back of my hand, like, such and such road, such and such road, R, you know, such and such road, L. You know, as I know that this road, when I come to this road, take a right, take a left. You know, that's the easiest way for me to take directions. And, uh, yeah, that's what works for me, man. Shit, I'd be taking some long ass trips sometimes. Uh, I think in my last video, I was talking about, uh, you know, little, little pit bike and stuff I was putting together. little pit bike I put together. Shit, I went over there and rode it not too long after I shot that video. And I'll be damned, man. I was trying to ride a fucking wheelie out on that motherfucker. Pulled it up. Damn gas expenses. It's like a little 80. And shit, I'll be damned, man. I fucking... <laughs> I rode that bitch for a good little while and then fucking try to pull myself up, bounce it out, get a little wheel a little higher and pull it in a little bit when I pulled it in. That motherfucker... Gave a little extra gas for it, bitch. Came up up from under me, I hit the sand. Bit the motherfucking dust on it. Shit, it wasn't nothing. Dumped right back up, laughed it off. I was <laughs> like, god damn. I bit the handlebars. Little, you know, I tweaked the handlebars a little bit. And that wasn't nothing. That little foot peg, it bent. It bent up a little bit. So we're gonna beat that motherfucker back into place, me and two of my partners. Hey man, stupid ass motherfucking homeboy of mine. Dumb ass bitch. Pretty much my best friend. That motherfucker was trying to beat it from the bottom and he fucking put a hole straight through the goddamn crankcase of that motherfucker. Talk about a hole. A Texas style motherfucking hole in the crankcase. So shit, there we are. He done, I done, you know, I done broke his leg, but this motherfucker that just fucking killed that motherfucking bike. I mean, he just killed it. Right then and there, he killed the fucking bike. Holding the crankcase. But, you know, I've had experience where, you know, cracked oil pans, little hole in the oil pan type shit. 
I just sent him on a mission to AutoZone for some fucking oil and, and a stick of uh, quick steel. Took the crankcase off that motherfucker, cleaned it up good, detergent, and got all the oil and shit off it. And, uh... Shit, just put that fucking uh. Put that quick stay on the inside, sift it up, put it on the outside, let that shit sit up, bam, put that motherfucker back on there, put some more fucking oil in that hoe. Good to go. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it's a nice ass little road out here. I ain't been down this motherfucker before. Uh, I swear to God, I hope I'm still on the right one. I really would pay attention. I got to talking a little bit. 1377. I need to bust the right on. Damn, it smells like straight motherfucking ass out here. It's like a goddamn compost motherfucking. Well, uh, ain't too bad. I gotta die. Try to go on a nice little ride. Here you are, fucking smelling straight ass. But yeah, man, we hooked that motherfucker back up and it was all to the good. Shit, we got back to riding. And, uh, couldn't do no complaining, man. Couldn't do no complaining at all. I had my FI light come on at the very last fucking second, man, of me going to my house. I'm talking about like, I was like, <laughs> around the corner from my fucking house. And my fucking, you know, my indicator light came on, like a check engine light, pretty much. Those people don't know. Uh, came on. And I was like, man, what the fuck, man? You know, I've never really had any problems with this fucking bike at all. Except for like when I first, first bought the bike and I have a video of that says, says burnt up RR. And it actually, that was the only problem I had with it man. Uh, it's a funny ass story if you wanna check it out man. It says burnt up RR. My video says burnt up RR. Check it out. It's funny as fuck. And uh, so I ain't never had no problems with it, man. Like at all, you know, not at all. And uh, anyway, that light came on. I freaked the fuck out. Like, eh, damn it. How much is this gonna cost? And what is it? And, like, I don't know much about it. And I can take this whole fucking bike apart piece by piece and put it together. But I've never had to deal with any problems on it, really. So, you know, knowing how much this is gonna cost and the time, you know, the time it's gonna take to do it. So, you know, when you want to ride, you want it to all happen real fast. So. Anyway, yeah, man, I sent a few, uh, I took it, took it to the house, turned it off, turned it back on, and that was it. Shit, motherfucker, was, the light was gone. I was like, hell yeah. So I just asked around to a couple people, see what they thought about it. And I was told that most likely it was the uh, exhaust, the cables in the exhaust that opened and shut the exhaust, I guess. down there fuck with the caves a little bit you know what I'm saying and uh nothing no light no nothing came on like on so I'm just grateful for that one less problem I gotta worry about I should have uh looked for some streets beforehand that's a good thing to look for if you don't know look for some streets before beforehand on the map so you kind of like know when you're coming up on the one you need to turn on to because sometimes you get to speeding through these country towns, man. Those little fucking things, you'll pass them quick. 
and you'll think it's gonna be something like decent road like this all of a sudden you, you don't map down you don't realize that some of these roads are fucking trash yeah man just to touch back a little on that last video too man where i was talking about people being uh you know depressed and the friends that i've had that you know committed suicide and, I mean, uh, almost every one of us have a family member or a friend or somebody that, that has been through that. And you're suffering from that also, from that loss, because whatever you do, man, affects everybody else. And what they've done affects you, whether you, you realize it or not on a daily basis. Sometimes, like me, I dwell on this shit sometimes. I try not to, but like, man, I'm the type of person who wants to help. And when I'm too late, I'm like, fuck, man. What is this and what is that? And man, I stay up at night sometimes, man. I can't fucking sleep sometimes. I think it's so much about how to fucking. Oh shit. 470. Damn, I lost track of my shit. 470, I need to turn right. Yeah, but. Yeah, man, that shit affects everybody, bro. So, man, if you're affected by that shit, man, and the best thing to do is just talk to somebody, man. Talk to people, just talk to people about it, like what? And, you know, at the same time, better yourself, man. And I have a, I have a fucking video up that's called Better Your Ways. I mean, not too many people have watched it. And, and all the likes and the watches and views, that shit don't matter to me, man. I put this up for my own for my own fun, you know, just to do it and I watch other mother bloggers do it, you know, that, that views and likes, I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not what I go for, man, I just out here speaking my mind, you know, do with it what you will, but uh, it's called Better Your Ways, man, it's just, it was a good little, you know, good little video I put together, I feel, but uh, yeah, And just talk to somebody, bro. Sometimes people just need somebody to talk to. Just let it out, man. Figure out, you know, figure out solutions to your problem more than anything, man. Don't dwell on the problem so much. Figure you out a solution, son. Like, for real. Man, be there for those who you know are suffering, but you're not able to, we all work, we all got shit going on in life, we're all doing things, you know, but for those that you know that are suffering, like maybe a mother, son, you know, killed himself or has been to some or been killed, you know, anything, man, you know somebody's out there hurting and missing their kids and doing this and that. A lot of people put up that front like everything's okay, you know, but it ain't, man. It fucking ain't, bro. I mean, I, I got, man, I, I got partners that died over 10, 12 years ago. I think about them fucking daily. You know, I think about them daily. Give them a call, just out of nowhere, just call, man. That will fucking make their day, bro. You don't even understand that how much that will make somebody's day, bro. Just by you just giving them a little old call. Bro, I'm talking about the little old call. You know? It ain't easy out here all the time, man. It is not easy out here all the time. We all wish it was, man, but it ain't. So, as a people, man, we just deal with this shit together, man. Help each other out, man. The world, if everybody was just a little bit more fucking caring, this world would be a fucking better fucking place. Like, you know, how you gonna, you know, I don't know, man. That's for another day.